Hello and welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. Today I want to introduce to you Knockout the Third. David traded in his Mustang, which was in his name and my name, into the Dodge Charger, which is now his name and his wife's name. It's a 2017 belonging to them where I have no, thank goodness, I have no financial responsibility on this. So, this is their car. So, it's got a Hemi engine. And it's got a Spence. Look at the size of those hubs. Whew. I'm glad I wouldn't have to pay replay to replace those rims if they go bad at those sizes. But this is their new car. It's a Dodge. And there is one thing. They do not have, like I don't, the side blinkers on the cars. The mirror blinkers? Yep. They, um got the side reflectors and oh, it, no. they have this set up for the backup camera but yet it doesn't work inside no it doesn't have a backup camera at all Cause I, well whatever that thing is up there and what I do like about a Dodge is the big lights when you hit the back the whole lights go across the entire car so it's easier to spot so and here's David taking off his temporary tag putting on his new tag and enjoying a chocolate muffin. There's a little on my socks yet. So there's so much more organized. Yep. So David, tell us about the thoughts with you trading in from, you, do you miss your Mustang? Now this car's got more bells and whistles for it than the Mustang has. That's, this car doesn't have a backup camera like mine does. This is bad. I, I need to do a detailed thing I guess, I, I think I might have already done it on the um, Nissan Sentra, but this car is strictly David's and Doris's. And I like the color, it's nice and dark. It's got dual gray. exhaust. What? Yes, yeah, the car is gunmetal gray. Gunmetal gray? Yeah, I looked at the color code off the door. It's called gunmetal gray. Okay, it's called gunmetal gray. Mm -hmm. It's the Dodge Charger Hemi RT. What does the RT mean? I think it's the racing trim version. The racing trim? Mm-hmm. Okay, you've got it. Actually, not quite as little too big. What is, what I think is bad is they, they didn't put on a rear plate on his car. Plate mount. Uh, plate mount. The Charger doesn't use plate mounts. Oh, you've got it. Yeah, that's the right size. Make sure you put in your anti-theft oh. tags. No, no, it's mill. <laughs> That's funny. Screws are millimeter. <laughs> They're foreign screws. Hmm. No, millimeter is just the size they are. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's right on the car. If it doesn't need mounting license plates, why are you putting it on there? Uh, so that way when you're driving, when your plate vibrates... Doesn't scratch your car? Exactly, it doesn't scratch your car, that's right. Okay. Actually, it's in one. You don't, even, you don't even have one. I don't? Nope. Well, well I, the license plate that said. came with the car went on the front of my car then. Oh, uh, that's a plate mount. There's front and back plate mounts. Car to this. I had a part of the deal for my Doctor Who plate to be put on the front. Yeah, for some reason. For some reason, Dodge and Nissan don't use plate mounts for their back. I should get one then if it's better for your paint. Well, it helps prevent the license plate from vibrating onto your paint. That's what it's for. So that way. So that way when the plate vibrates, it doesn't vibrate on, on your paint or car. Ford does plate mounts for some reason. For some reason. Dodge it didn't. Mm. Your Mustang had a back and a front plate mount. Yep. <sighs> I requested it. And once you put a plate mount on a car, you know you can't remove it. Well, actually, you, you can't remove it. 
No, because when I bought a plate mount for the front of my smart car, they said I couldn't remove it. Well, of course not. That was, that was a plate mount. You have holes in the front of your car if you do. Because you put holes in the car that wasn't there before. <coughs> and just like when I traded my Anyhow, car, I can't remove them. Anyhow, when you trade in your car, the front plate mount, you might as well just keep it in with considering. Because it won't be the same for another car anyway. Yeah, so every, every car is different. Well, I'm glad you got your tag. I was getting worried about it because... Oh, I knew it was Tuesday, the D Division of Motor Vehicles isn't open until Tuesday because they're closed on Mondays here. Um, you couldn't, your plate would have expired. You couldn't have driven your car on Monday. How come you're not putting it through the hole? I am. The problem is that. The hole is up above it. The problem is that the person, people who put the plate on this car put it too high. So it's actually supposed to be lower than this. Well, it doesn't matter as long as it gets on there. Yeah, but... It means it's Did you get the plate mount from Amazon? No, I just picked it up from AutoZone. Oh, okay. You get, plate, you get universal plate mounts from AutoZone or wireless or whatever. Trash is already in our area. Well, tell the viewers about your Dodge Charger a little bit. You'll, you'll get a good introduction to it when I when I show it to you. Okay. Well. Millimeters, wonderful. This is David installing a plate mount. Yep. Today we are doing videos. Yep. I'm going to do a video of me jogging. We walk for half an hour, but... There's a gnat hanging around me. Huh? There's a gnat hanging around me going... He thinks you're cute. Tasty. I'm going to get the battery out. Make a pilot hole. Right back. Yeah. It says it's got serious SM, but it's just not a lot of stuff turned on on his car. It says it's gray, but it looks black to me. Knock out the third. Okay, it does have fog lights. And it's got a Hemi engine. And David said it's got air, not nitrogen, if you can believe it. So that means those tires are not under warranty. Unless he goes in. It's just Dodge doesn't, doesn't know the alleged fuel savings of nitrogen. I have nitrogen on mine. Yeah. I got nit neutrophil. There, this will be a little easier. It's a pilot hole. Yeah. So, where are you going on your vacation? Uh, probably Interlarkin, I think, or Plaque or something. Like that. I don't remember exactly. Mm -hmm. The horse knows where we're going. Yeah, well, I hope you have a wonderful time. Mm-hmm. Eric is supposed to get here on Monday. Sunday. 
Well, it's going to start being here on Sunday. Sunday, yep. Yeah. They've ordered all the churches to be closed and everything. They haven't mentioned anything about the mails on Monday. So oh, it's, it's probably not going to be running. You know how the post. The mail is supposed to run today. Yeah, it's been running today, but probably Saturday. Yep. But on Sunday. So, Amazon probably won't be delivering on Sunday. Sunday. Monday probably it won't be. Just like Blunt Island's going to be closed on Monday, so. So you don't have to work. Nope. So you're off? Yep. Good. So hurrying back. Huh? So we're not going to hurry back. So you don't have to go back to work till Wednesday? Mm -hmm. What's that doing in there? Well, if your item comes in the mail, Doris will have to go and have you sign it and deposit it for you so you can get have some ca cash because you got a zero balance in 10 cents in your funds. Yeah, I'll be going up and checking soon, you know, what's up with that. So that's this one. I'll show you when it's gone. Florida is going to hit. Okay. Here we are. We're back. And um, David, tell everybody what you did. He did not do a starter coal hole for those, did you? No, these, because this is going into the plate mount. Yeah, you know, right, right now I got two, I got two special screws at the top of the plate mount. I got two of the, the two screws that came with this car. The two special screws of this car, anti-theft tag, right? They're just... You have anti-theft screws on your car for your tag, of yeah. course. Because I bought a whole kit of them a long time ago after the tag got stolen on the smart car. Yeah, I can always use these, too. Those are spacers. Yeah. I could have seen the space of the plate from the plate mount, but I don't need them. Are you going to come home tonight and sleep and leave in the morning? Uh, I don't know yet. Because you don't get off till 10 o'clock, 10.30. I don't know. It would be smart to do that. That way you get a good night's rest and you're not tired behind the wheel on your little vacation. Well, basically, David's putting on a tag, and I'll show you when it's done. Tag on with his anti-theft screws. Well, that's the down the screws. But he's just tightening them down now, and then we'll. Uh, and that's David putting his first tag, which is September 10th or 11th, something like that. January 20th. No, it's today September. Oh. I think the 11th or 10th. I have no idea. Um, 2017, his very first tag goes on his new car, his 2017 Dodge Charger with Hemi Engine RT. So there you have it, people. There's his first tag. So, and as always, the fun never ends in Sea Sparkles Corner. Yep. Feel free to share. Feel free to subscribe. We appreciate all of our viewers and our Patreon. And thank you for watching. Bye, everybody. Feel free to see you soon. See you next video.